Hey everyone, it's Cliff Floyd and welcome to Play Ball at Home presented by Scott. Blake Snell and the Tampa Bay Rays star in our new episode this Saturday. Blake has been keeping himself busy at home, so let's catch up with the Rays lefty and see what he's up to. So Blake, good to see you again, my man. Good to see you. Um, let's get right into it. You, you, you're a huge gamer. Recently just won MLB The Show 20 player league. What was that like competing against your boys that, that you see on the field uh, when y'all out there playing? Yeah, it was, it was super cool, man. Like, uh, you, you don't really know their personality. You don't know their style. You just know how they play. Like, you, you just know their game. So being able to play against them in a video game and then being able to talk to them and just kind of relate with them, I think that was probably the coolest part. Um, and then also building friendships out of this. Me and uh, Gavin Lux became really, really close. Um, just by playing this video game, we started playing other video games, started texting each other, calling, like we became boys. Uh, so, I mean, just being able to do this, you find people you, you vibe with, and then I made a friendship out of it. So it was super cool and super thankful for it. So your favorite moment from the whole league, now I know you, you, y'all, y'all guys play a lot of games. What was your favorite moment that you take away from it? Probably when I walk, uh, hit that walk off uh, homer against uh, Dwight Smith. <laughs> and he, he was beating me with the Orioles and he's good. Like he's legit. <laughs> And uh, I thought I was gonna lose, and then uh, I think I think Zanino was up, and he had a bomb to like a he put, like home run, no doubt, at the left field to win it, and I just kind of lost it. Uh, <laughs> so I'd say that was probably like the best moment for me. All right, so you're the champion. We've got a lot of kids watching who play MLB the show, as you know. Yeah. Tell the gamers watching what's one thing they can do better when they playing this game because. I, I play it too with my son. Like I'm, I'm telling you, he kicks my butt, and I'm like, "How's this dude kicking my butt?" But g- g- give me some tips, man. Give it, give our, give our kids some tips. Yeah, I got you. So you want to pitch with pitchers that throw cutters and uh, and two seamers or sinkers, and you want to stay. So if it's a if it's a right-handed pitcher throwing to a righty, you want to go in with uh, the two seamers or sinkers. Okay. You want to go away with cutters and then change up your splitters down. Try to not really throw anything up or middle of the play. Everything is is in and down or in a way and down. Uh, if you do that, you'll be solid. Um, and then for hitting, man, that's it's all PCI based. You got to be good with your, you know, moving in to hit the ball, and that's tough. But pitching wise, if you can do that, you'll be solid. So you have your own Snellzilla, which is by the way the dopest tag out there. When I when I see it, I'm like, I just gotta see it. So I gotta give you love for that because everybody try to come up with something different and they don't hit it on the head. Yeah. You hit it on the head that one. So you got your own Snellzilla merch. Um and it'll be on just snellzilla.com. Like I got my own little website. I got pro I think I got uh yeah six clothing articles, three hoodies, uh, three t shirts coming out. And I did it just I mean with this quarantine I was bored, a bunch of people were asking for it so I, I finally said okay to it. So yeah, I got some hoodies and some t-shirts. Uh, and it's all with like my sayings and stuff that I, 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 I was using during uh, this, this show turning. So it'll be cool stuff. I put, I put a lot of time into it. So it should be a bunch of stuff that people will like. The colorway is uh, the Devil Rays. Uh, so it's that little gradient of uh, yellow, purple, green, like a super, super sick. So go back to spring training. Seems like it was forever ago, which it was. We talked about all, you know, all your sneakers, your sneaker head. I know in this day and age, man, all these sneakers are coming. We get a chance to see them more and more every single day. You know, the the, the, the old school is coming back. Yeah. What you rocking right now that you love the most? Uh, right now I've been rocking some Sakai's. They're, uh, they're like a little old school. They got like a little heel kick. To, they're, they're a weird shoe, but I like those. Uh, all the Travis Scott's that have came out, I, I got all of them. I love those. Uh, that's kind of what I've been rocking. But mostly, honestly, just flip flops. Like, I can't really go out. I can't really stunt. I can't do anything like that. So I, I just rock flip flops and yeah, I just go in my backyard and sit. And that's really it. I don't, I don't got a lot of things to do outside of video games and hanging out with my pups in the backyard. So, now I will tell you what, I, I went in my closet the other day and and you know I rearranged some stuff and I was like, yo, I got some, I got some ill kicks in here. Yeah. I mean, I know you've done that, right? Like you go in your closet, go like, yo, I ain't seen these in a minute. 
Yeah, no, you'll go in there and be like, I didn't even know I had these. Like, you go, you go rock them, and then now that happens all the time because I think I'm around like 600 pairs right now. So, yeah, it's yeah, I don't know what I got, and and I have like I'd say I have like a quarter of the shoes here in, in uh, St. Petersburg, and then all my shoes are in Seattle. So when I go back home to Seattle, every time I go there, it's been like eight months usually. I'm like, how when did I get these? Like I don't even know <laughs> buying these. Uh, so I see that all the time. I get to wear them. So that's always an exciting time for me. I got one tough question for you. This is a tough one for me. Yeah. If you could wear one pair of sneakers for the rest of your life, one you get one pair, which was I? If I had one pair, I I'd probably go with like a pair of Jordan ones. I mean, the Travis Scott ones are super sick to me, and they're like yeah. down and white, so they go with everything. Um, I'd probably say those because I, I rock those way too much. So I definitely go with the Travis Scott ones, the high tops. Um, I just feel like they go with everything. So it would definitely be a one for sure. The Jordan one's my favorite shoe. Um, so it'd probably be that. Yeah. I'm so simple, man. I, I went with strictly the Air Force Ones, all white. I like they go with every fit I have in my closet. Yeah, no. Air yeah, my little brother would say that. That's all he wear. He got like the toe creases in him and stuff. Like he, yeah. he all in on them. That's it. So last question for you. You're a sneakerhead, you're, you're MLB the show, 20 player league champ, you're a Cy Young winner, soon to be World Series winner, I just feel it. Do you have one drill that you can do at home, that these kids can do at home, that sharpen their skills and sort of get themselves ready for what we go out of this quarantine, we, we ready to get back on our field and do what we do? Yeah, I would say for, for the kids at home that, that don't really know what to do, I would say the best thing you can do is uh, find a way to get to get in control of your body. Because um, once you can control your body, you can really do a lot of cool things uh, to make you succeed on the baseball field. So I would say to get your feet under you, jump rope is something that I do all the time. And I think it just allows you to get in balance with yourself. And I think that's a good starting point. So I feel like if kids jump rope and they get in control of their feet and they can really have a strong uh, foundation under them with their, just their feet, uh, I think that's a great starting point to then build off of and then get into your legs and your core. And because and you got to be strong and able to do all of that before you can throw a baseball and expect it to do something. So for them, I would say right now, really focus on getting your feet strong, getting your legs strong, and then that will allow you to be that much better when um, when it comes to playing the game. So as far as throwing the balls and doing all that stuff, that's secondary to making sure your body's straight. Yeah, your body got to be strong because if your body's strong, you'll be able to do all that a lot easier. And it'll be, it'll just, it'll just come natural because now you're focusing on being an athlete before you actually start to throw the ball and do all that. And, and you'll be good with that. I mean, a lot of people just want to throw, 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 and they think if you just keep throwing, you're going to just build the arm strength to be a, to be a beast. But I think, if you're strong with your, with your body and you're in control of it and you know what you're doing, uh, as it gets stronger, your arm will get stronger with throwing. I mean, you should be throwing uh, at least three times a week just and focus on like hitting the chest. Um, but you could jump rope every day. You can, you can do squats every day, lunges. Um, you can do all that stuff, push-ups, sit-ups. Like that's, that's what I was doing when I was younger. So I think if kids do that, uh, it's a great starting point for when the season does start or baseball does start back up. They'll be strong enough to be able to really uh, have a good chance of succeeding at a way higher level than they were before. No doubt. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to end it, man. I appreciate you. And um, hey, stay quarantined, stay in the house. Sure. Make sure, you know what? You stay ready. All right? Yeah, I'll be ready for sure, man. It was, it was good hopping on here with you, man. No doubt. Appreciate you. That's it for Play Ball at Home presented by Scott. Don't forget, you can see more with Blake Snell, Willie Adamas, and the Tampa Bay Rays this Saturday on MLB Network. Stay safe and keep playing ball.